So this is a video to show you how the Adaptive Cruise Control or ACC works in the Volkswagen ID4. The Adaptive Cruise Control uses the radar, the front-facing camera and other sensors to adjust the speed the car is going. So instead of just plain cruise control where the car just go at the set speed and then if something is in front of you going slower it'll be trouble. It uses the radar and everything else to decelerate and accelerate the ID4 with respect to the traffic in front. So it will actually come to a complete stop and it will start up, speed up, slow down and it is very useful for highway driving and also very useful for uh, stop and go kind of city driving. So I'm going to do that. Sorry about the weird camera angle. I'm trying to get the bun in view of the camera as well as the road ahead so you can see what's going on. So here we go. If you look at the center display, usually there are three columns. There are the sensor display, speedometer, and uh, directions from the nav system. If you swipe right, it will expand the sensor display view, which is helpful in general, and it is uh, very helpful when I'm trying to show you how easy to see works. So when busy town traffic here, and let's just get out of this part first to drive safely. So to enable the adaptive cruise control, just want to get to uh, some speed that you want to be at, hit the set button, and you can see it registered uh, 25 miles per hour as my speed. Everything is green, so you know it is actually doing it now. I have my foot off the accelerator, and the car is going 25 since there's no traffic ahead. If I want to, then you just saw that it saw the car on the other side, and it um, slowed down thinking that it is in my lane, so that's kind of interesting. There's no traffic. I'm going to go a little faster. You can manually set the speed by just using the up and down button. So a long press goes by 5, so I went to 30 and 35. A short click reduces it by a mile at a time, so now we're at 30. While we're here, the other thing you can do is adjust the distance that it will try to maintain. So that is this button in the middle. You press it, you see the green bar showing up. Let's do it again. While the green bar is up, you can actually increase or decrease the distance. And I have it set to midpoint right now. So one thing about the Deadly Cruise Control, of course, is that it wouldn't see the red light. So while there's no traffic in front, I still need to hit the brakes when there's a red light. Here we go. There's some traffic ahead. So I'm going to restart it by hitting Resume. It will try to get to 35, but it hopefully wouldn't because there's some traffic in front of us. It sees the car, you can see the blue. Blue mean is active. And actually, let's set it to 40, which is too fast. As it catches up with the cars in front, it's going to slow down. So we're down to 37, 36. There's a red light ahead, so hopefully it will come to a complete stop. All right, so I have this unfortunately pedestrian interrupting this demo. I of course have to hit the bricks because the car didn't see the pedestrian. So that's actually a good demonstration of what's going on. So I'm going to resume. Target speed is 40. It is not going to get that fast. Didn't see the cyclist. So it's going 30 because it's seeing the traffic in front of us here, which is exactly what you want it to do. So it's still way down because it thinks the car is stopping and now it's speeding up again. Now one thing is in the US, if the car has to come to a complete stop, the AAC will not automatically accelerate from stop. You will have to manually re-enable it and the fastest way is just to tap the accelerator. 
So it's funny, I'm following a Tesla. I wonder whether he is doing self-driving right now. So we're coming up to a red light and everybody's coming to a stop, including the ID4, so it's stopping on its own. And then because the green just turned and nothing, and because the green just turned, we didn't come to a complete stop, it reaccelerated without me having to do anything. So here we go again, another case where it's really slow, but it's picking up again. So the car is, is adjusting, going from a few miles an hour back to 25 and back down again. Oh, we're losing the Tesla. So red light in front, kind of aggressive stopping. And we are off to a complete stop, so that's perfect. I don't know if you hear it, you actually hear the brakes going down. So the car is holding the brake. It's turning green, but again, as I said, in the US, I actually have to tap the accelerator to restart the AAC. So I just tapped it, I don't have to press it hard. My foot is off the uh, accelerator, and then the car restarted up to, um, I'm trying to be 35, but obviously hitting 26 right now because of the traffic. So that's how you would normally use AAC. The car adjusts to the traffic in front, come to a complete stop if you need to. If it is stopped completely, you need to restart it by hitting the accelerator. There are other ways to do it. You can also hit resume, but tapping the accelerator to me seems to be the most um, obvious way to do it. So here we go again. We are at a stop. Now just to let you know, uh, hopefully we wouldn't have to demonstrate it, but every now and then the car is not anticipating traffic enough that the auto slow down and braking is not fast enough. So when you get to that point, the car will beep, it will show a red warning, and at that point you have to hit the brakes, otherwise we're going to have a collision. So here we are, stopped. ACC is ready. When the light turn greens, the car in front of us move forwards. I still need to either hit resume or tap the accelerator to get the ID4 to recognize I want to resume ACC and it will start accelerating on its own again. Here you go, green light. Nothing is moving yet. This car started moving, I'm gonna tap the accelerator. And then the ID started to drive. 